If you're trying to model a commercial real estate investment, but you're getting error messages in your model, this can be a really annoying problem that can take you hours to figure out. So in this video, we're gonna cover the three main causes of errors in your real estate financial model and how to fix each one. For first dibs on all new real estate financial modeling and career training advice, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I release a new video. So if you've worked with any kind of complex real estate financial model in the past, you've probably seen a dreaded error message come up. So this could be div zero, name, num, any error message that messes up your entire model and stops your progress on what you're doing. Now these can take hours and a lot of headache to figure out. So what we're gonna do today is cover the three most common reasons why Excel error messages occur and what to do to fix each one. So there are a lot of things that can break your real estate financial model, but after teaching thousands of students real estate financial modeling and getting the same questions over and over again, there are really three main things that are going to break your real estate financial model when you're making changes or building a model in the first place. So many real estate financial models have inherently circular references. So certain cells that refer to another cell that refer to that first cell. And because of this, Excel can get in a never ending loop that ultimately results in error messages and the model not calculating correctly. So how do you prevent this? Well, the fix for this is really simple and all you need to do is go into your Excel settings. So click on File, Options, Formulas, and then make sure that Enable Iterative Calculation is checked with maximum iterations set to 100. That will take care of any circular reference issues that Excel might be having in your real estate financial model. Now, number two is that your model just might need to be reset. For example, oftentimes when you get an error message, that error message is going to affect the other cells in the model and your entire model's calculations, including your returns, are going to show error messages. Now, usually this can be fixed by just hitting undo, but what happens if you hit undo and you still have errors throughout your model? Well, in this case, what I like to do is what I call the delete undo method. So to do this, what you can do is go to the section of your model that is experiencing the errors and actually causing the errors in the rest of the model and then highlight that portion of the model, delete that portion, and then immediately hit undo. Now when that happens, Excel kind of hits a reset button. And oftentimes what you'll see is that all of your formulas are working correctly again and everything is flowing exactly the way it should be. Now number three is probably the most tricky and this is when a manual error is lost in the model. So say you're building a model or adding some inputs and you've done some work over 30 minutes or an hour and then you realize something's messed up. Something's not working in the model. What do you do? You can't just hit undo because you've done all of this work. How do you actually fix this? So if you can't go back to an older saved version or you don't wanna go back to an older saved version, what you can do is go to a cell with an error and start by tracing precedence. And when you do that, Excel will create blue arrows that show which cells that cell is referencing. So to do this, you can go to formulas and then click on trace precedence, or you can use an alt shortcut by hitting alt M P, which will trace precedence as well. From there, you can keep backtracking until you find the error, fix the issues and recalculate your model by hitting F nine or going to formulas and then calculate now. So at this point, you've solved your issue and your model should be up and running once again. So there you have it, the three most common errors in real estate financial modeling and how to fix each one. Now, if you clicked on this video, you likely wanna learn a little bit more about real estate financial modeling or you want to advance your real estate investing career. So if that's the case, I've actually put together a free three-part real estate financial modeling crash course and you can grab that for free in the link in the description below. So if you're looking to advance your real estate investment career, learn real estate financial modeling, or do your first deal, that's a great place for you to start. And again, you can enroll for free. So if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share it with anyone else who might find this helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.